how to sell your products into Equit in this step-by-step -step tutorial guys I'm gonna be showing you how we can get started with the Equit so if you don't have like enough money if you don't have like if you actually have like a low budget I think that Equit is gonna be the right answer for your actual problems so in order to get started guys it's really really simple I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so you can get started totally for free so once you click down below you're gonna be seeing something like this we want to choose the option that says get started with a free account I want to look out and create my full name and email and provide a passcode after that I need to set up my store so we gonna hit into next and we can be actually good for the second step so uh, now it's gonna be asking you like what's gonna be the name of your store uh, you want to add information about your company your email you want to provide a city a region postal code country almost any kind of websites like this ask for that so it's really easy to process that so now that we have created our actual section of Equit, what we can do is to go into the dashboard here into the dashboard you're gonna be seeing that there's something called the to-do list so here into the to-do list this app is gonna be helping you to get started with our very first sale so in order to make sales in order to add some products what we want to do of course is to set up our actually uh, account so I don't want to be focusing a lot into making the to-do list I have been creating another video for that so I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description we'll leave it into the upper side of this video so you can check it out like full video of that so um, in general what you want to do is to click into each one of those and add the following do the to-do list for example the set up your website in storefront I'm gonna click in here and it's gonna be appearing the website so what I can do is just to change the themes I can change the headline my information why choosing us what you don't want to see what you don't want to see into your website and so on and on and on now once I have successfully added all of this I'm gonna be focusing into the actual catalog now here into our catalog here we have our products so I can start to adding my very first product as you can see I have created this one that was generated into the other tutorial so I'm going to click into the delete product and I'm going to do this once again so what I want to do is to choose the option that says add new product and here I have the general section where I can upload an image a name an SKU number the weight the pricing and the description so here what I want to do is to click into upload image this is the very first the very first part of the video what I just want to focus into the actual product and here I want to type the name a really catchy name so people can start to buy my product so for example this is a digital art of a cheeseburger uh, AI into high quality and here into the SKU number we're gonna leave it into let's say 001 and the weight there's no weight the pricing is only two dollars like this zero 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 and now they have successfully added that you can see the manage pricing options so here you can set up to compare price so this is like for example that you want to say that this is uh, for sale so if you want to enable that you want to let's say for example say that the pricing is six dollars and if I set compare to price I'm gonna stay on this page I'm gonna save this of course and I'm gonna go set to compare to price and I can add the other price added next to the one that we are having with a deal but it's really important guys that you know that this is only for the feature of this upgraded plans if you have a free plan like we do have in this tutorial we are not going to be able to have this enabled yet but I'm going to continue, to continue once again we're going to be doing that later so we were into this actual product if I go into the description here I can add more than just one text I can add an image I can insert a video I can insert a link I can have a table and I do have all of this customizable stuff that we can change later speaking about our actual text now down in here we have more elements that we can add only for a actual upgraded plan so I want to focus in that if you go and scroll all the way up you want to change from general into attributes now here into attributes what you can do is to import an UPC name number and you can import your own brand for example text express store now this option is going to be helping you to tell the customer um, how those are the variation of the product what is the actual information of uh, of the sizes and all that so here you want to import let's say for example the uh, size of CH and here into radio you're going to type size and add new value so here you want to add let's say for example 32 32 31 
And here we do have the section where we can sell digital stuff as I am doing in here. If you are here into Upgrid only to sell online stuff, digital stuff, and you don't want to pay because we need, of course, the upgrade version in order to um, add some products and to catalog some digital products. So if I go into files, it's going to be asking me to if I want to sell ebooks, video music, digital art, the other ton of available content file. We want to complement tangible products with digital copy. So this automation process is going to be added automatically so if you want to enable this we need to upgrade into the eventual plan or higher but i'm going to be showing you an alternative way of how we can do this without having to pay absolutely anything and the option number one is to just pay this so let's say for example here you have my general option here into my name let's just focus i'm going to be uh let's just assume that this is an nft so we go for cheese burger um nft art number one so the sku number of course my number one and the weight is zero and the description you want to describe this as a digital product now in the description there's actually two things that you can do first thing if you wanted to you can leave this into manage stock control here it says stock you want to leave it like this the price let's say is like 12 dollars i'm going to add my image of my cheeseburger like this and in the attributes, I'm going to leave this like that. In the options, file, shipping, and pickup, I want to disable this. CEO, I want to leave it like that. And once I have everything now successfully done, what I want to do is to hit into save. So what's going to happen in here is that if I go back into my catalog, it's going to appear in the cheeseburger NFT art, right? So if someone buys this item, instead of just uh, saying that I have just sent th this package to someone else, what I can do is to contact this guy and send the file somewhere else from WeTransfer, for example, or from Google Drive. Um, so this is a place where we can actually sell almost any kind of files. So speaking about some digital product, what we can do is to just enable that. The second option that I can give you, just in case you just want to sell digital products, is to sell from one place into another one. Let's say, for example, I'm going to be using exactly the same product, which is the cheeseburger NFT odd. So since we cannot make the processing of the actual files here, so we cannot make the files, we can do that manually. So either you want to import like another description, like if you want to purchase this uh, digital art or digital product you need to uh, let's say access through this website and here what you want to do is to input your Etsy account you can input let's say like an open C account um, that sort of depends on where you're actually having your digital products but I'm saying here Etsy because Etsy is a place where almost anybody is actually selling uh, all products digital products and you can do this in here so if I clicked into search for anything, I'm going to go for digital uh, planner, digital prints, digital downloads, digital secretaries, digital products, digital wall art, a lot of things that you can sell into Etsy. So I uh, just sell here into Etsy, copy your, your actual website and paste that in here. I'm going to go in link, insert my link and here's my URL. I'm going to hit into insert. And boom, it's actually now good to go. So with that being said, guys, if you want to try it out, how it's going to be looking and how are your payment options available, what you can do is to go into the settings section. And here into settings, I want to look out for the payment section. And here, what I want to do is to go for pay by cash, enable the settings, and then later, I can try to uh, do some like a test payment so I can figure it out like this one is working or not working. So with that being said guys just make sure that the to-do list is now enabled with all of that in order to start working here into Edward. And if you want to focus into the marketing section you'd have to worry about here. You can do that later into Facebook or into Google Ads totally for free so you don't have to spend a lot of money because Edward I believe that we're like more than enough to publish a website and five products totally for free. With that being said, guys, we have reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools about the Equit and how we can get started. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you guys on the next one.